it's the one and only happy hour. Happy Friday, everybody. What we're doing today is we're doing an elderflower special collection of cocktails. We've already covered several before. So just check out the videos, not only making elderflower syrup in, in season now, but what we're covering this week is an elderflower mojito. So this is what the, the cocktail looked like. You can see quite a few different elderflower cocktails there, but this is the elderflower mojito. And it really does give it a fantastic rating here in the difference book, which is kind of like my Bible for, for cocktails. It's a really good book this, and it gives it a 4.5 out of five, really good. So of course, the key ingredients for mojito, you've got your rum, you've got your lime, and you've got your sugar syrup. It's pretty much like a daiquiri, which is a short drink, but it's made into a long drink, and then you add your mint. But in this case, because it's twisting it into a European or a British classic, we're adding elderflower syrup instead of the sugar syrup and that's what's the real kind of twist here and for me i've tried this and it's absolutely amazing it's a really refreshing drink with the mint and the mint and the elderflowers really do combine well and it's really refreshing for, for the summer really good so we need the juice of one lime so i've got that here now always make sure that you sieve that so i'm always gonna you're gonna pour your shot out so what we've done is we've got the elderflower syrup which I've made in advance. I'm actually making some more because it's the season. The first two weeks of June are fantastic for picking the elderflowers. And I'm actually making some more there. And a really good tip that I've been given from my good colleague Gunda is actually to once you've actually filtered this and put it through a muslin is to heat it up again. You can actually, that actually pasteurizes it and then it'll keep a much longer time so you, you remove any kind of potential mold growing on top. And it's a really good tip that. The core things you need is, is obviously the rum. So I've got Cardi here, you need a, a, a white rum. And then we need sparkling water or soda water, any will do. Of course your elderflower syrup, or you can use the elderflower liqueur, which is a French one, which is called Saint Germain. Comes in a really fancy bottle, that's really nice. And then of course we need mint. So, what we're doing first is we're getting 12 of the mint leaves, we're putting that into, with long drinks you don't normally need a cocktail shake, but for this you need one because you want to muddle the mint. Not, you could tear it up, but mint likes to be bruised. So in order to do that, we've got the cup there and we can actually just get a spoon or you can actually get a proper muddler and just give this a bit of a, a push down in the cocktail shaker. So once that's happening there, I'm just gonna add the two shots of the rum into here. I can really smell that mint, it's really nice. Just let that infuse for a moment. That's done. Always great to have a bartender spoon, especially for long drinks, you can really give it a, a nice mix. Add one shot of the elderflower syrup into there. We're going to also add some crushed ice into it, small ice. So we've got our drink all put together. Give this a shake. As I mentioned, it's not it's not important to have a shake for this. You can do it without. But for me, it's just nice to muddle the mint and infuse the, the essential oils of the mint into the rum with the lime and the sugar syrup. So what I always do first is just create the base over the ice. And then we are ready to add. So we almost lay this into three parts, so then we add this over the top. So once you've got your drink, also make sure you remove all your, your mint leaves. That's always good to do to your drink as well. That's where all your flavour the mint is. So really hope you're enjoying the show. Make sure you subscribe. Lots of really nice elderflower cocktails. And just really, just to finish this off and give this a taste. It's absolutely fantastic, this drink. It's really, really refreshing. Mmm, absolutely 
superb. One of my favourite drinks in terms of long drinks. So really, big thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe.